Y'all smell that? Just that. Incel. He reeks of it. This. Uh fair, fair warning. I actually skipped ahead and looked at some of this stuff. It is pure incel. I mean, look at this. Look at this. It's not even a good meme. Look how crappy this is. A exaggerated, like, anime character from a video game. Compared to somebody who's supposed to look realistic and under a stressful situation. This isn't even a good comparison or meme. It's just dumb. And fun fact, he thinks he triggered people with this when that's not what happened. Again, I looked ahead. I saw what they said. On Twitter. I saw this on Mr. Obvious's channel. And I thought it was really funny. So I'm going to post it on Twitter. And then the replies came flooding in. I I'd like to point out, though, real quick, that they are unable to ratio it because, well, it's true. And... No, you're not that popular. You're barely spoken about outside of me, essentially. <laughs> I don't think any other, like, I don't think anybody outside of the fucking conserv the political sphere, and then even then, it's not out it's just outside of me and maybe, like, three other dudes even know who you are. And I only remember who you are because somebody else reminded me of you in my comments at one point. <laughs> like, I had no idea who you were. I forgot. That's how forgettable you are. I mean, you're a right-wing commentator on YouTube with a Twitter account that still works. Look at this. You only got 102? You don't even have 1,000 likes for this. This is, like, pathetically small for someone in your particular niche. Ben Shapiro could put up a picture of his ass and get, like, 10,000 likes. No problem. Most of these people on Twitter that act like this are only a handful of people. They think they're fighting the Revolutionary War by going after these memes, and it's really hilarious. So I had a blue... Nobody went after his meme. They mocked him. And he is coping hard. Checkmark, who writes for several. It's a blue checkmark, and therefore it's bad. Keep in mind, Nick fucking Fuentes, before he got Thanos snapped, had a blue checkmark. It, it's not the big fucking evil, it's a leftist, he has a checkmark. No, it's fucking literally just, they just do it. Nobody knows how, by the way. It just happens. Yeah, tell me you're a virgin without telling me you're a virgin. Literally this meme. That's how you do it. Because it fits into the stereotype of the incel. I don't like Western women because they're ugly and they're evil. And But, you know, Eastern women are great because they're totally like slaves, right? That's what the meme is. That's the stereotype I love. But no, that's not how that works at all. Ask anybody who's ever lived in one of these nations. Not how it works. In fact, I used to work with people from Japan, and they were scared of their wives because their wives were very mean to them. It's actually pretty hilarious. Because somebody brought up the fucking stereotype to them. And he looked like he just, like, he, the guy had grown four fucking heads. It, it blew his fucking mind. Because apparently his wife was, like, very fucking mean to him when he saw her, like, twice a year, once a month apiece. Very weird work schedule that guy had. Got paid a ton of cash for his job, though. Because he was over here volunteering in the factory. Like I said, for, like, ten months out of the year. And then he'd go home for two months. I think in the beginning of the year and at the end of the year. Well, like, six months between, and then he'd visit his family. But apparently his wife was, like, mean to him or some shit because he, he acted scared of her sometimes. Game publications, I want to point that out. So this is a game journalist. Uh, and as always, tell me. Oh, it's a game journalist. Therefore, he is the worst Hitler since Hitler, according to conservatives, because, you know, nobody agrees with them, and it pisses them off. You're a virgin without telling me you're a virgin. This is from yeah, this is a good meme right here. A guy who can't grow a full beard or sideburns, by the way. I know women who have a beard and sideburns, bro. Does that make them more of a man than you? Uh, so he posts this, and a bunch of Puritans came flooding in. I, of course, find this funny. Uh, they always want to... Puritans. They're literally mocking you, you idiot. ...talk about uh, how big... Yeah. Yeah. How is this being a Puritan? This is like fucking online shit. This is just mocking you. ...big your junk is or how much sex you get. Which is funny and ironic, considering that they're, they're Puritans. Okay. They're Puritans because they mocked me. Because they mocked my incel. <laughs> it's like, bro, they're literally making fun of you. Like, yeah, like, this is like, this is how, this is how you act when you fucking talk to, like, the girls in the pub bar. If you ever actually go out to a bar, which you never fucking do, I guarantee it. Like, bro, I totally have sex with, like, 30 women a night. It's cool, bro. And then you go home and cry into your fucking body pillow. Because a woman hasn't touched you in fucking three decades. They don't like... They don't like sex. They don't like that kind of stuff. It's dirty. They're, they're literally mocking you. They're not saying anything about sex here, you idiot. Like, they're not the Puritans here. You are. Gross. Uh, most of them... Like, you're the one holding up, like, the Asian waifu. 
the obedient slave girl who does not show her badge to other men because that would be the wrong and here they are mocking you for that and yet they're the Puritans. I guarantee you your average like liberal leftist gets more sex than this guy does in the span of a weekend than he will ever see essentially because they're not Puritans at all. Like the left is like real fucking crazy when it comes to that shit. Like the meme of the left being super sex positive and like they fuck a lot is not inaccurate. (laughs) Very fucking bizarre coming from the right into the left and seeing that little bit of the culture come out because it throws you for a fucking loop how open and shit they are about it. Um, all live with cats, uh, drink cheap box wine all day, and hang out at Starbucks. Okay. Projection, projection. And he probably doesn't hang out with Starbucks. He probably hangs out at the local bar calling every woman who doesn't look at him a lesbian. Uh, well, calling them the D word, more than likely. But calling them a lesbian and be like, I'd fuck her over a barrel, no problem. You know what I'm saying, dog? To, like, the bartender who is rolling his eyes at him constantly because he won't shut the fuck up and let him get on with his work. So, uh, yeah. How do I know this, you ask? Because I have been to a bar more than once in my life. And I have met this person many times in my life. They are always the same. This incel shit. It's, it's how it always is. It's never any different. They are sad people. And it's hilarious to watch them get mad when they're made fun of. Deadwood Dale makes a good, really point. He makes a really good point here. I thought this was uh, this was good to show. So, does he think that he did he expect intellectual arguments out of that meme? No, you got meme back. Deal with it. Welcome to the internet, motherfucker. Here comes some of the replies, as you can see, following that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Fucking, fucking got him. <laughs> fucking just destroyed him. Ripped his fucking soul out and showed it to him is what this meme did. His dick fell off because a woman looked normal in a video game. <laughs> his knee fell off. And the, fuck, the fucking Star Trek shit. The background makes it better. Because <laughs> I want to hear Doc say this. A woman looked normal in a video game. Can, can that be a thing in the JJ verse where fucking Bones just like, hmm, yes, his dick fell off. A woman looked normal. It, it couldn't take it. It just destroyed itself, sir. <laughs> Even though, is this what you think real women look like? You know, they don't... Yeah, generally speaking, this is what women would look like in this setting. They would have muscles because they are soldiers. Their hair would be cut kind of short. In fact, I think this is a bit too long. It would probably not go past, like, the eyebrows, maybe. It would definitely not drop below the neck. Or it would be, like, done back in a way that it's out of the face. Because you have to be able to see. Um, for all the showing of, like, soldiers going to the battle with, like, long flowing locks that just go everywhere. If you had longer hair, it was normally kept out of the fucking way. There's a reason why you saw, like, generals and officers and stuff from back in the day with their hair done back in, like, ponytails. It was to keep it out of the fucking way. And yeah, again, soldier, look, wearing armor that covers the fucking chest. Everybody wears these. Would have muscles as a soldier. Because they are doing soldiering. This actually makes sense. I don't know what the fuck this is meant to be. Say that with these designs. And I always found that kind of funny. Like these designs, they don't they don't defend it like that. They always go after the Japanese looking women. Or the Japanese uh, anime looking women. No, they don't. They talk about how it's weird, how it's like fetish. Again, it's the stereotypical waifu thing. That's what they talk about. They don't talk about, like, how they're, well, they talk about how they're drawn, but that's more of, like, it's kind of weird. It's, like, overly fetishized. And a lot in the community who watch the shows also kind of agree, like, it gets in the way at times of a really good show. Or, like, a comic book, because, again, I refuse to use the fucking words. It gets in the way a lot. Look at High School of the Dead. It's fucking amazingly good. But the fan service gets in the fucking way. <laughs> Of the action scene so fucking much. Get it out of the way. It's okay when there's downtime. That's what it's for. But when they're having a cool action scene, we don't need to see it. Get it the fuck out of the way. It's annoying. And that was like the general consensus when it came out. And people watched it. Like, why is this in the middle of my fucking action scene? I was having fun and it got in the way. Stuff like that. Female characters that are designed to look attractive. Those are the ones that they always attack. Oh, wait. You can't look at that without masturbating or something. Yeah, because whenever you guys talk about a female character, it's about how much you can masturbate to them, you idiot. <laughs> but these these are what real women look like, apparently. Uh, yes, in this setting, this is what she would look like. Uh, you see them all the time at the grocery store? Oh. Yeah, I do. Because 
I go to a grocery store in real life. I don't watch it in a fucking anime, you idiot. Women don't look like you posted, you dumbass. They don't dress like this because they're not soldiers, but they do wear dudes' clothing a lot. The only people who go out dressed, like they're going out to a fucking club, if people are going to a fucking club, all right? They're not always dolled up, you idiot. Again, you're an incel. You don't know what women do because you haven't spoken or seen one for 30 fucking years. But when you're out, you know, doing some errands, getting gas, I see women that look like this all the time. But the I, Unironically, I do. I, I live in a very heavy manufacture area. Lots of warehouses, lots of factories. They are built like this. They will crush you with their fucking forearms. I love it. It never happens with this, ever. I, I thought that was another good point worth showing here. This is from... Yes, because this is a fairly normal-looking person. Their tits don't enter the room ten minutes before she does. Bud, the art guy number one, also making a very, very good point here. Uh, then we get... Not really. He fucking failed. Stuff like this. Spectacularly down bad. Some uh, pretty, pretty, pretty lame quote tweets. It's all the same. Here's another one. American designed middle-aged white man, which way Western man? <laughs> but not even funny. Uh, it's not funny because it makes fun of men. You see, it's okay to do it to women, but do it to man, and it's not funny now. What should have been funny is they should have put some other fucking. They should have put an Easterner net right here. It would have been funnier. Is that racist to say Easterner? Like someone from the East. But have it like a sumo wrestler, next to like another fat dude. Uh, that's why the stereotype that they can't meet. That might have been racist of me. Mean, exists. Uh, you got butt hurt by the memes. <laughs> <laughs> fucking got him. But you see him right here. Here's another one posting this. Oh my god! Fucking got him. Uh, why don't they do that with the with the Tila post, right? LMAO, none of these nerds know what women look like outside of video games. Right, they look like this, right? Yes, they do look more like this than they do in those video games, you moron. You you don't know what they look like. You don't leave your house. They look like that. Sure. Sure. Many new ways to be mad about your pornos, respect. It's always about it's always about sex. You, you've literally made this about fucking sex, you idiot. You're you're literally comparing a fucking a fucking video game anime girl to a normal looking person. Also, this isn't what fucking people look middle-aged. This is heavily stylized, you idiot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They were created in the West, dumbass. Every time. Oh, then they point out that it's a Finnish company. Who cares? Who cares? This is what a, what a typical American Western-designed woman looks like. That's why... This man has never played Dragon Age Mass Effect... Any of the good games that have women who are designed to look like fucking sex objects. Like, that's where this meme falls apart. It lacks any reality whatsoever. Of course, the weeb agrees. The weeb agrees. The weeb agrees. Comics are dead? That's why... Comics aren't dead. They were fucking never that big to begin with in the modern era. They started to die off in the fucking 50s, for fuck's sake. See, they were big back in the day because TVs weren't a thing. You could have your whole show right there in your hands. You could read it. No problem. It was like a book, but as a cartoon kind of thing. And it blew people's fucking minds. This was the golden age of comic books. But much like other written media, it's dying off because we no longer have, you know, that's not, only, that's not the only option anymore. There's other things you can do. You know, movies, TVs, all this stuff. Inside of that context, it's actually doing pretty well. Yeah, comic books themselves are dying off, but so is, like, books. That's why a lot of these companies are going to, like, audio, um, animated, um, what's it fucking called? Animated, um, fuck, an what is it? Animated visual novel, I think is what I heard it called, where it's, like, it's the comic book, but it's... Partially animated, um, read out to you like an audiobook, um, with sound effects and that kind of thing. And it kind of makes it seem like a really artistic show. That's probably going to be what's more likely to happen in the future from now on. Since we now have like phones that can just play that kind of thing anywhere, anytime. You don't have to carry around a large comic book because comic books are fairly big, sadly. 
As for like, oh, but the the fucking the Japanese comic books are beating them. In the very niche that they own, yes, they are. But they were never all that popular to begin with either. Like, comic books crushed them when they first came out. They weren't that popular. Also, you have to take into account, they are often fairly compact and easy to carry, unlike a comic book. Like, inside the weeb sphere, yeah, they are winning. But outside of that, in the whole context of everything, they are doing just as bad here in the West as everything else written. Again, eventually it's going to probably come down to some kind of audio-visual thing. Um, and I'm kind of interested to see it. It'd be, it's going to be a pretty interesting time when the technology and the, the um, creativity catch up to the point where we can see this stuff. I am fucking stoked for it. I, entertainment in the West is dying. That's why anime is growing. Uh, it's not dying. And the only reason this is growing is because it's more acceptable, you idiot. You're welcome, by the way. The left making things more normalized. Not that you'll thank us. <laughs> and really kind of flourishing in this dead, this creatively dead environment. It's not creatively dead. You're just butthurt. Ah, more weebs. But I find it funny, like... See, you can't really take these guys' opinions for it because they're fucking weebs. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard to take this seriously. Game journalists, they hate it. You point out this stuff, they get furious. And then their little, you know, like-minded followers come in, people that don't. They're literally mocking you. They're not furious. They're just mocking you for fun. You don't know what a meme is. Don't really buy anything or support anything. They just fight the Revolutionary War on Twitter. Conservatives are barely a third of the population. You guys aren't the biggest market, you idiot. It's kind of, it's kind of just what they... In fact, recent developments in the Marvel Universe proves you wrong. The fact that every corporation is trying to get woke points proves you wrong. If there was no money in it, corporations would not be bowing to the, quote, mob, you idiot. For a capitalist, you don't know how it works. They, what they do. And it's just funny to me. It's always... I love this insidious they. They. The evil they. The other. Um, he might as well use, like, the three, the echoes whenever he says that. Because that's basically what he's trying to do. He's trying to make it seem like this big evil thing, hiding in the background, launching out his tentacles to fucking ruin everything. It's not that, it's nothing like that. <laughs> like, if, on the left, actually, a lot of people do prefer these, um, prefer this kind of stuff. Just because it is a bit more entertaining. But that's about it. Like, some of the biggest lefties are fucking admitted to, like, fucking... Anime and shit. It's about sex. It's always about your junk. It's always incel this or that. Just for pointing out. Look at your meme. How is this not incel in fucking meme form, you idiot? That one character looks more attractive than the other, and it's always... I don't know. I kind of like this. Looks like she's going to rip my fucking head off. How you doing? From Japan. Mip she looks like she would stab me in the fucking back the first chance she gets. Also, finished company. Maybe this, is, maybe this is why Japanese entertainment is thriving. Games journalists, they're more salty than ever because of the fact that, well, nobody gives a shit about their opinions anymore. Nobody cares. Games web. The one left looks welcome. Mean, not, yeah. Because these are taken from two very different fucking situations, you idiot. I mean, look. Just look at these two screenshots. Compare what they look like. Look at the background. Look at the context. Very different situations. Give this woman time to get cleaned up, and she would probably look just as nice as her. If drawn in the same style. They are different styles. This is not hard to look at and realize. This is a bad comparison. Show me a fucking American-designed woman in this situation, dolled up in a regular house. It would look about the same. This would be a bit, this would be styled differently, though, because they're two different styles. That'd be about, they'd both be attractive. I don't understand this meme. It makes no fucking sense when you know what the fuck you're talking about. Also, she looks like, is this Brianna Tarth? Am I wrong in thinking this is Brianna Tarth? I don't remember her the actor's name. I'm going to look it up. Because if this is like Brianna Tarth, I'm all about it. <laughs> you can keep Daenerys. I like Brianna Tarth, all right? The ability to crush my skull in like a fucking overripe melon. Very nice. Sites are just 
dying one after the other. Because who needs them anymore? Because they always have bad takes. Always have bad takes. They have bad takes. Meanwhile, this is my meme. <laughs> They don't understand the market that they work in. Uh, oh they knowingly. They, just, they literally understand the market better than you. It's just you're an angry little incel that doesn't leave his house and thinks this is reality. That's the saddest part. You think this is reality. This is why I make fun of you, you idiot. Tell half of their audience to F off. Uh, the guy Half the audience. You barely make up a third of the population, bro. guy who started all of this, that games journalist, I looked down his... The games journalist. Be fucking more butthurt over somebody existing, loser. His uh, Twitter feed, it's all about Trump, 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 Trump. Guy's not even in office anymore. It's been months. We're on, we're on July. It's been seven months. And they're still... Look at any conservative Twitter feed, and it's literally, Trump was better, Trump did better, Trump did better, Trump did better, Trump did better. Biden's bad. Biden, Ukraine Biden. Sleepy Joe, creepy Joe. He, he said, bah, bah, bah. it's the same shit. Like, the perpetually online will never change. It will always be their side bad, my side good. But here's the difference. The liberals have a point. Their side is objectively the better side. <laughs> like, even as a leftist, I hate liberals. They're objectively better than you in every way. Like, if it was up to you, you would take away freedoms and rights of everybody you disagree with, throw them into fucking camps to be murdered, just so you could feel like you're winning something for once in your life. Still talking about this man. It's pathetic. Uh, again, you posted this meme and you're calling somebody else pathetic. You, you should own a mirror. Like, seriously, buy a mirror. You need one severely, all right? This is why your medium is dying. You do know that half the country voted for that man, whether you like him or not. No, a third of the country voted for him. And more voted against him. And a chunk did not vote at all. You dumbass. You don't know how numbers work. This is, this is the problem with a lot Keep in mind, 350, 60 million people. Most did not vote. Of the two sides that did vote, more voted for Biden. He has a record now, goddammit. Most voted for president in history. Because of assholes like you. Just showing how shit you are. You actually turned conservatives into liberals. And push conservatives away from the GOP. That's how bad you were over the last four years. A lot of these businesses, they're willingly uh, just mocking half of their customer base. And Barely a third in most areas. Not even a third where I live. Most conservatives where I live, if you showed them this, they'd shrug and walk away. They don't care about any of this. They're dirt poor farmers who can barely survive half the fucking time. In fact, a lot of them went out of business because of Trump. His little tariff fight, a lot of them are gone now. They were bought out by big corporations. Their farms are now, like, automated and shit. Those farmers are now working at Walmart, the few that we have left in this area, because that's the only place that they could afford to work. Because at least they provide some benefits. Not great benefits, but some benefits. And a lot of those guys, they're too fucking old. They're too old to work the kind of jobs I can work, and I can barely work the jobs myself because I have some fucking physical problems. My knee and back are fucked. From barely, not even that many, not that long. I haven't worked that long in the heavy industry, but it has fucked me up bad because I've had to work 12-hour shifts seven days a week for months on end, just tearing myself apart. They can't do it, so they work at Walmart. And these are the people you say that you speak for. You sit at your house all night, hugging your body pillow, pretending your waifu here is real, while they're wondering how they're going to feed their family, bro. I'll tell you how they should feed their family. They shouldn't have to. Their family security should not be something they have to be worried about. They should be worried about doing their best at their job possible. It's why we advocate for UBI. Free health care. Give them all the food the water they need. So that when they do go into work, they're not worried they're going to lose their job the next day because they made one mistake. They're doing the job because it needs done. Because they want to get done. Because it should be done. Not because, well, I have a gun to my fucking head. If I don't do it, they're going to blow my brains out and then kill my family. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about all this. I'd like to hear your thoughts on... Oh, the comment section. It's nothing but incels. Oh my god, they praising the, the fucking Japanese waifu. Very annoying.
They need to get the fuck... Stay the fuck away from me. Like, if you objectively see this as a good meme, fuck off. I don't want to hear it. I am sick and tired of hearing it. Like, your waifu is your waifu, but for fuck's sake, stop fucking pretending like they're this fucking sex thing. It's so weird. And gives me very fucking bad vibes of, like, the Confederacy, where people were literally slaves. Like, that's what you want. You want a wife to be a slave. And it's very, very disturbing to me. Especially for a bunch of people who claim they care about freedom and rights. You don't. <laughs>